Over the last 48 hours, I've come to understand what sacrifice means, or at least a little more what sacrifice is. And uh, last week, or earlier last month in my podcast with, with Andrew, we talked about sacrifice, and I spoke about things such as you know, time, money, things that bring you joy, you know, the things you need to sacrifice to be successful. But this week, I learned that sacrifice isn't only things, but also personality traits. Uh, even parts of yourself sometimes need to be sacrificed. So let me tell you a story. Um, this weekend, I lost it. Uh, I lost my um, temper in such a way that I think I hurt everyone who loved me for whatever reasons, reasons of self-importance, I think, um, you know, what I need, what I think is important, how I think I need to be treated, all these kind of things led me to lose my temper. Um, and I spent, you know, my work day sort of thinking about that and haven't felt so lonely in a very, very long time. And I had an epiphany about sacrifice. I looked at what I had done, what I had said. And I thought, why, Henry? Why did you say the things you said? And I said, you don't want to have it happen again. You, you know, there's too much you care about. There's too much, you know, there's too much at stake in your life. You know, the lives of your family, lives of your, of your family those people who love you and who you love more than anything in the world and you need to change and sacrifice popped into my mind my feelings of self not worth but self importance the ego um, what I consider that macho alpha male characteristic um, that I'm used to having inside of me when I put it on paper in black and white and write out how has this helped me? There's nothing. My sense of self-importance hasn't helped me get into school. It never helped me get the right job. It never helped me find a, a wife. Lord knows, you know, when I found you know, Sasha, it was because I, I wasn't thinking of myself as important at all. I think I barely even combed my hair. Um, and the result of that is, you know, a... a you know, thinking of others, of not thinking about, am I being treated with respect? Am I being treated the way I believe? But, you know, am I living by my own values? Am I treating the people the way I want to be treated? Every time I look at them, success in my life, it's because I exhibited those traits. Not because I thought I was important, but that I thought I was the center of the planet or the center of whatever situation I was in. And, um, on paper, it's clear, but in reality, it's a part of my character I never, ever questioned. Because you know what happens when you're successful? You think that I'm successful, and even the things that perhaps the the traits that you used to cope, you don't foresee them as the enemies in which they are. That despite these things, you were successful. You think, well... They're here. I'm successful. They must serve a purpose. And that's why sacrifice is so hard. Because you look at yourself and where you are and you think, well, these are the things that make me me. I'm where I am. They're obviously important. And the reality is they're not. The reality is because you haven't had to pay a price for them. You see them as valuable. But I look at every time I've thought I was important and the world resolved, revolved around me or anything, you know, that I deserve X. And the result has been broken marriages, broken hearts, and my own broken, broken spirit. I need to sacrifice my pride. Something I've used as a defense mechanism that I thought helped me get through racism and discrimination and what have you, but it's actually a crutch and a debilitating flaw that has to go. 
looking at it on paper, rationally in black and white. I have to give that up, but what makes it sacrifice is I'm so comfortable with it. It's a part of me that I'm afraid. But I see that it's not going to help me and it's not going to make myself or my family happy. I'm very afraid. very afraid but education is painful learning is painful and change is never easy so I don't know how it'll turn out but I hope to see you again next week in better spirits and that's my lesson on sacrifice write it out for yourself and hopefully you don't have to go through what I've gone through to get there. Have a great evening.